After a stuttering start under Niko Kovac, Bayern changed head coach and brought in Hansi Flick, which has seen the defending champions power their way to top spot once again with the goals of Lewandowski firing them forward. Sancho and Haaland have teamed up to deadly effect to manoeuvre Dortmund into second place in the table, where they are now breathing down the neck of Bayern. Werner's goals and Nagelsmann's canny man management have helped Leipzig push hard for the Bundesliga title this season. Goalkeeper Sommer has been the rock for Gladbach as Turham has gone about entertaining up front in an unforgettable 2019-20 campaign. Havertz has Leverkusen firmly in the hunt for a top four finish, as well as domestic and European honours. Wagner has given Schalke fans hope by reviving their team's fortunes this season, but a New Year dip in form has threatened to cost them European qualification. Active on three fronts this season, Wolfsburg have had plenty of highs, but some lows too, following on from their top six finish last season. Freiburg are on the cusp of a surprise return to Europe after having a mediocre 2018-19 campaign. Hoffenheim have beaten Bayern, Dortmund and Leverkusen this season, but it hasn't all been plain sailing for them as they sit at the ninth spot. Cologne have had a roller coaster ride on their return to the German top flight as they managed to turn things around after a shaky start. Union are enjoying a thrilling first season in the German top flight and have surprisingly managed to steer clear of the relegation zone. After a disappointing campaign, Frankfurt may have to win the DFB Cup if they were to secure a third successive season of European football. After bringing in Pietek and Kuna in January, things have taken a turn for the better for Hertha Berlin. Augsburg are no strangers to relegation battles and while they are hovering just above the drop zone, they still remain on course for a 10th straight year in the Bundesliga next season. While 2019-20 has been an up and down campaign for Mainz as they seek to retain their Bundesliga status, it's certainly been one to remember for striker Quezon. After comfortably surviving their first season back in the big time in 2018-19, Dusseldorf should be worried about losing their status as a top division club next season. Bremen are fighting for their Bundesliga lives 25 matches into 2019-20. Paderborn sit bottom of the Bundesliga table, but they're provided plenty of entertainment with the likes of Mamba, Sabiri and Pruger. Unlike the Premier League, it's still all to play for at the top of the table in the German top flight. The top five teams are all in the mix of this thrilling title race, though it's highly unlikely that fifth place by Leverkusen could overcome an eight-point deficit to catch league leaders by Munich. Borussia Dortmund and RP Leipzig are Bayern's closest rivals, with Gladbach knocked part behind. At the opposite end, bottom club Paderborn are expected to head back straight to the second division after an unimpressive season, while Werder Bremen are facing only a second ever relegation from the Bundesliga and their first since 1981. Fortuna Dusseldorf occupy the relegation playoff spot, but teams all the way up to 12th placed Eintracht Frankfurt will be looking nervously over their shoulders as they could easily get dragged into the relegation scramble. Jadon Sancho has quickly become one of the best youngsters in football thanks to his time in Germany. However, the Englishman has always been destined to return home and Manchester United are one of the favourites to land his signature. Last season, he finished the Bundesliga with 14 assists and was the second highest assister in Europe's top five leagues behind Eden Hazard. More impressively, this season he's taken his game to another level with 17 goals and 18 assists. The Englishman would cost United around £100 million and would be their record signing. However, he would be the perfect signing for United, slotting in at that vacant right wing spot. His qualities such as pace, agility and ability to dribble and counter-attack makes him the perfect fit for Manchester United. With their directness and pace, the trio of Sancho, Rashford and Martial would definitely strike fear into opposition defences. Kay Havertz is one of the most talented and gifted youngsters in the game right now and has the potential to become the face of German football. He's been sensational for Bayer Leverkusen over the last few years, 
Havertz has scored 10 goals this season and provided 7 assists and also become the youngest Bundesliga player to score 30 goals. Leverkusen manager Peter Boss has also hinted that Havertz would be let go for the right fee of around £80 million and United are one of the few clubs that can afford that. Havertz is more versatile than the likes of Sancho as he can play in the number 10 role on the right wing or operate a little deeper in the number 8 role. His energy from midfield, defence splitting through balls and goals would also make him a vital cog for Solskjaer. The 52 million rated RB Leipzig striker has been one of the hottest prospects in European football for a couple of years and has been quoted stating that he dreams of a move to the Premier League. While Liverpool are proclaimed to be the front runners to sign the German, United have been in contact with his agent and he may prefer coming to the Theatre of Dreams as he would be guaranteed a place in the first team. A summer exit seemed very likely before football was suspended two months ago and despite the current uncertainty, he still seems destined to leave the club sooner rather than later. Werner has scored 88 goals in 150 appearances for Leipzig and is the second highest scorer this season with 21 goals. At 24, Werner still has his best years ahead of him and would be one of the ideal candidates to fill the striker role at United that was vacated by Romelu Lukaku last summer. The 22-year-old Swiss midfielder who plays for Borussia Mönchengladbach is reportedly a transfer target for Manchester United. According to German tabloid Bild, Mönchengladbach will demand £44 million for the Swiss international, having previously turned down a £20 million offer from Dortmund in the summer of 2018. United need a dominant central midfielder of Zakaria's quality, with Pogba's future looking uncertain and Nemanja Matic entering the twilight. Zakaria would be the ideal fit for the Premier League and at 6 foot 3 inches he has the physical attributes to cope in England and has even been compared to the likes of Pogba and Patrick Vieira. His long legs and powerful running style enable him to slalom through the midfield at will and he would slot perfectly at the base of United's midfield. The 21-year-old Frenchman Deo Upamecano is one of the hottest centre-backs in the market currently and is being monitored by the likes of Barcelona, Bayern, Arsenal and Manchester United. With only a year left on his contract, he could be bought for as little as £40 million. The man from Leipzig has become one of the most sought-after defenders in Europe after delivering some commanding performances at the back in the Bundesliga. Upper Meccano helped Leipzig to the best defensive record in the league last season and so far they've conceded the least goals this season as well. He is tall, aggressive, adapt at playing out from the back and the partnership of Upper Meccano and Maguire is the perfect blend of experience and youth and could secure Manchester United's central defensive partnership for the best part of the decade. Remember, the Bundesliga is back this weekend. You can join me on Mark Goldbridge That's Football for Dortmund versus Schalke Watch Along. Links in the video description. Subscribe and get back for the Bundesliga.